Recently, I've been asked the question quite a few times of whether you can truly DIY speakers that cost $5,000 plus for you to purchase for under $500. And I think I can. So today, I'm gonna prove it to you. Now, let's be honest, I could just tell you that you can do it, but it really doesn't matter unless I show you an actual speaker that costs over $5,000 that you should be able to DIY for under $500. I mean, that just makes sense. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Boneke W5. This is the Boneke W5, and it's a beautiful looking bookshelf speaker. Now, this particular speaker costs anywhere between $6,000 to $12,000 depending on the options that you choose. Now the interesting thing about this speaker is no matter which version you buy, the exact same drivers are used. Now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the original Boneke W5 because they used all components that you could literally purchase right off the shelf and actually still can. So let's go ahead and take a look at the woofer. Now, for those of you who know me, you know that I love the Tang Band W5, and there's some similarity between the Boneke W5 and the Tang Band W5, and that's because the original subwoofer that they used was, of course, the Tang Band W5. And this is the same subwoofer that I used in the Dynas and the Passive Dynas and a few other subwoofer builds, and I absolutely love this thing. It sounds significantly louder than a five and a quarter inch subwoofer and provides significantly more bass than you would imagine for a speaker that size. Now, having said that, this driver still only costs $50 for you to buy. Now, if you're gonna build the Boneke W5 or a clone of the Boneke W5, well, you're gonna need two of those. So you're already out $100 to build these $6,000 speakers. Now, that's not the only driver they use though. They do use a front full range driver. Now this front full range driver has this beautiful silver cone. And believe it or not, this is also something that you can just go down to your local parts store and purchase. For these, I found them on Maddie Sound and they're about $20 a piece. You will once again need two of those. So that's an additional $40 of your budget out the door, you're now at $140. Now you might think you're done buying your components, but you're not quite. If you turn the Boneke W5 around, they use what we call a rear presence tweeter. Now that's a tweeter that is shot behind and it actually bounces off the wall to help create a wider sound stage. It's one of the ways you can get smaller speakers to sound well a little bigger than they truly are. And in this particular case, they use some Tang Band tweeters. Now these particular tweeters, you can't buy as a single, you can only buy as a pair, and they're around $30. So all in, we're at $170 for all of the main components of this $6,000 speaker. Now I know what you're thinking, we're not done yet, we still have to add things in like binding post and crossover and of course the wooden material. So let's go ahead and add some of those in. This crossover you would think would be fairly elaborate. It's actually not. And if you research the internet, you could probably find a clone of this crossover fairly easily. And I'll just tell you right now that there actually is no crossover on the subwoofer. They run that full range and that's nice for them because that saves quite a significant amount of money. The inductor on that would be probably the most expensive component that you would utilize in this build. But since they didn't run any crossover on there, this crossover for both speakers is gonna be around an additional $50. So now we're at $220 for the entire build. If we add in wood and binding posts, maybe that little piece of aluminum on the back if you want that, you know, let's add an additional $100 to that. And we'll say we're right around $320 for the entire build. So that's 320 DIY dollars for you versus 6,000 to $12,000 for the speaker that you'd be purchasing from them. So the answer is, yeah, absolutely. You can build a DIY speaker for significantly less money than you can buying it. And in this case, yeah, you can build a $6,000 speaker for significantly less. However, it's important to note that this particular Boneke W5 has actually been altered from the original. They no longer use that W5 subwoofer. They now use a Peerless SLS subwoofer which coincidentally is actually cheaper than the W5. And it's been rumored that the FE85 has actually been replaced with a custom designed speaker 
just for Boneki. Now that's still a Foon tech, but it may not be the FE85 per se. And it's important to note that because a lot of these DIY speakers, like for example, the Spatial M3, you can tell that they use the peerless corundum tweeter that you can buy right from Parts Express, and the woofers are an eminence driver. But these woofers might be a custom derivative of what you might purchase directly from Parts Express or wherever you buy local parts. And if you're interested in where to buy those, check the description. I've got links to a couple different places you can buy drivers. And so although you may not always be able to buy the exact same drivers to be able to build the exact same speaker, the truth remains that you should be able to buy a substitute that is very similar. They can give you a very similar sound for significantly less and save you a lot of money. Now there might be the issue that you may not know how to design your own DIY speakers. If you want to learn how to do that, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I mean, that's what I teach a lot on this channel. Now, you can also go to my forum, toidsdiyaudio.com slash forums, and we can talk about that and get you hooked up. There's people like me and places like Parts Express and a couple other places on the internet where you can actually buy kits that someone else has already designed and you can get a significant savings just by building those. So if you've been interested in building some speakers that could save you significant amounts of money, take a look at some of these DIY plans and I think you'd be surprised at the value that you can get. Now, if you like this video and you wanna see more like it, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. All right guys, this is Toyd's DIY Audio and I'm out.